welcome to Gloucester Park in Perth, Australia. If you're looking for kangaroos, you're not going to find them here. But what you will find are some of the best feasters in the entire world. It's Inner Dominion Day, baby. The 2015 Inner Dominion is the richest pacing series in the world, with purses totaling 1.8 million. The series works like this. There are 30 horses who make it into the series. All of them will race in three heats within a week's time. Then the top 10 point getters take eight days rest and return for the $1.3 million grand final. The Inner Dominion is traditionally known for attracting horses near and far from all over the continent of Australia and from New Zealand. And like even this year, they had an Irish standout named Meadow Branch DJ fly in for this ultimate test. While the racing is obviously the centerpiece to the series, it's the festivities surrounding this event and all the fun leading up to the final that makes Inner Dominion Grand Final Day so incredibly anticipated. Let me brief you on the week that I had. I helped MC the Inner Dominion Final Post Position Draw, or as they call it in Australia, the Barrier Draw. And it wasn't just the connections of these horses in attendance. There were hundreds of people there soaking in the excitement of who would draw what post on the gate. I did a photo shoot alongside of the only female in the race, Liberty Bell Midfrew. Photographer Ashley Brennan took incredible photos for the West Australian. A dramatic dress, opera gloves, flowers, and barefoot in the sand. It was epic. By the way, that popular daily newspaper, the West Australian, had off the hoof coverage of the competitors and the preliminary legs and the final. I co-hosted my very first podcast as I sat alongside Brett Coffey and Matt Young during a taping of 147.7. I grabbed a photo op with three-time Inner Dominion retired champion, I'm the Mighty Quinn. Hashtag legend, hashtag starstruck, hashtag OMG, it's Quinny. I was the guest speaker at the ladies' luncheon, officially known as Déjeuner en Blanc, which means lunch in white, featuring a couple hundred women dressed in white. Oh, I was so honored to be a part of something so beautiful and so full of girl power. I got to know the race favorite, Lenny the Shark, at the beach, as he had fun and got fit in the Indian Ocean. There was even a black tie Inner Dominion Gala with ball gowns, dancing, selfies, and lots of sparkle. And I had the opportunity to make a guest appearance during a broadcast on one of the evenings of the preliminaries and on Inner Dominion Day as well on a national Australian sports channel. Heather Vitale, Harness Racing Correspondent from the United States. It's a beautiful day. We're going to head into the birdcage and talk to a couple trainers. Gary, how do you feel the series has panned out for you? It's panned out fantastic, Heather. You know, all my horses are going good, and I'm really looking forward to the race. You have two in the big race today. Yeah, uh, yeah. and Waylade's my best, yeah. And uh, hard copy and a little bit of luck, but Waylade's absolutely my best, yeah. Best of luck today. Thank you very much, Heather. In addition to interviewing master trainer Gary Hall Sr., I stopped by to see conditioner Ian Gurney and his free-legged pacer Avanova, as well as trainer Emma Stewart and Philadelphia Man. I also went by to see my fellow newspaper glamour girl, Liberty Bell Midfrew. And of course, I stopped by to say good eye, Mike, to my swimming buddy, Lenny the Shark. We're hanging out in the birdcage now. It's also known in American words as the paddock. It's where all the horses get ready before they go out on the racetrack here at Gloucester Park. You can see behind me, they actually parade around and although the general public cannot get back into the paddock because you know obviously the horses are getting their game face on and getting ready to go out there on the racetrack, but if you can see along the fence line, 
people are lined up and they can check out all their favorite horses before they actually get out there on that race oval. By the way, the Aussies prove that just because you're working with horses doesn't mean you have to compromise style. Everyone at the track, even those caretakers and trainers prepping their horses for competition, were channeling their inner fashionistas. You're probably ready to see this amazing Inner Dominion final, but first, I think it's important for me to point out just a couple differences between American and Australian harness racing. In America, the length of our races are measured in miles, but in Australia, they're measured in meters. The Inner Dominion is 2,536 meters, which calculates to just about 1.6 miles. And with Gloucester Park being about the size of our half mile, that means the field will travel around the oval three times. How do drivers focus on their horses and keep track of how many times they've been around? Great question. A buzzer and light go off for that last round, indicating that there's only one more lap to go. Also, in America, we time our races to the fifth of a second. In Australia, they record times down to the tenth of a second. And while our race bikes are shorter and closer to the horse's hind end, in Australia, they race in a longer style cart. All right, you're probably like, crikey, Heather, get on with the race. Okay, okay, I'm on it. Let's send it up to announcer Richard Bell. But the starter says yes, and the green light goes on, and it's Lover's Delight winning the start. Lenny straight into second. He went back immediately with Devendra. So it settles with not much pace early, and Lover's Delight leading the way. From Lenny the Shark, Flaming Flutter is down on the inside and waylaid. Hall Jr. gets in in the right spot. He's one out and one back, and Avon over is on an early move. But Alfred means business in the breeze. He wants to keep it. Avon over stuck out three wide. He might have to drag back. Back in fifth place, the Bolter Art Blackbird, who's 100 to 1. Philadelphia man for the master, Gavin Lang. Sits about midfield, the moving line. Six metres to the mare. Liberty Bell mid through. My hard copy, Clinton Hall. He produced one of the greatest drives to win the pacing cup on this horse. He's second last on the inside. And Devendra is back last of all. They slow down again because Avon Over had to go back and is all the way back to last. And it has a forlorn task now. In the straight, lover's delight for Chris Lewis and Stevie Reid rejuvenated twice in retirement this horse lover's delight back on the track in front and doing it well past the pace lead time at 106.3 it's lover's delight by two meters past the bird cage from letty the shark flaming flutters on the inside way late is one one our blackbird three back the inside philadelphia man one out and two back and probably close enough. My hard copy's on the inside, then Liberty Bell mid through. Devendra second last for James Rattray looking for three into Dominions. And Avon Over is back last of all. They're about to run off the back straight. Out in front it's Lovers Delight, Chris Lewis and Stephen Reid in the red colours. 30 seconds even. He's been beautifully rated but Lenny the Shark is right there. Third flaming flutter. Fourth way laid 1-1. Fifth on the inside is our Blackbird. And they are followed by Philadelphia Man. Lang just sitting there and waiting. Then my hard copy on the inside. Liberty Bell mid through is third from last. Avon over. And last of all is Devendra. They're about to sprint hard. They go past the pace with Lover's Delight. Second quarter goes through. 28.8750 to go. Lover's Delight from Lenny the Shark on the outside. Flaming Flutter is running third. Way late is fourth. Fifth are Blackbird. Philadelphia man is yet to go and they're sprinting hard. My hard copy travelling well with nowhere to go. Devendra taken out wider. Liberty Bell mid through. Avanova racing inside the 550. And it's Lover's Delight, two and a half metres. Lenny put under pressure. He's still coming though. It's Lover's Delight leading by ahead to Lenny the Shark. Flaming Flutter running third. Our Blackbird the inside. Devendra out wide. What a clash we have. 27 for the next quarter. Lover's Delight just in front. Lenny the Shark trying to get to him. Then Flaming Flutter. It's Lover's Delight and Lenny the Shark. Stride for stride, nose for nose. Lenny the Shark takes the lead from Lover's Delight. There's no catching this shark. Lenny's the Shark has race home to win the Inter Dominion. Jaws who? It's all about Lenny the Shark coming in from Victoria, which is about 1,700 miles away from Perth. He was absolutely fierce for trainer David Aiken. 
I wasted no time jumping in and giving a congrats kiss to the six-year-old who scored two wins in one second in his prelims and then went on to win the over one million dollar final. He and his driver Chris Alford never saw the pylons. As they say, the duo was punching the breeze the entire race. Lenny the Shark paced a mile rate of 154 and 8. The last 800 meters went in 55 and 8, and the last 400 meters in 28 and 4. Did you have to know all that? Well, for our entertainment purposes, not really. <laughs> Basically, just know that it was a super fast, awesome effort. Winning owners Kevin and Martin Risley celebrated in the winner's circle. And I couldn't help but love Belinda's nails with Aiken stable colors. And the Risley children were swimming in cuteness as they showed their support for Lenny. Go Team Shark! Many people I know from the U.S. say, I always wanted to go to Australia. I heard it's beautiful. I'll get there someday. Or, yeah, I've heard about the Inner Dominion. Sounds fun. It's on the list. Get it off the list. Is it a long journey? Well, do kangaroos take awesome selfies? Yes. Oh, come on. Did you think I was going to go to Oz and not touch a roo or get photobombed by a eucalyptus leaf? <laughs> so, of course, it's a long journey, but it's also worth every second and more to get there. If you don't mind this globe-trotting filly elaborating in Australian slang, Inner Dominion Day is a ripper. Yeah!